Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Your chance to win a virtual million pounds by simply answering 15 questions in a row correctly. So if you're ready, let's play. That's great. Are you playing alone or with... So it's just you, me and the computer. OK, first bit. If you'd be so kind, please enter your name. Right, here we go. You're 15 questions away from £1 million. And if you're ready to play, have a look at this for £100. Which of these is an area of London? Bow. Loop. Knot. Tie. So you're saying it's A. Are you confident? Well done, nice and easy, you've got £100. Have a look at this, it's worth £200. Which system gives employees adaptable working hours? Flexidisc, Flexography, Flexitime, Flexitone. It's correct, you've got 200 quid. Now, here's question number three for 300 pounds. Which word describes a baby who is born early? Preposterous, premature, prejudiced, prescribed. You're absolutely right for 300 pounds. Question four of 15 coming up, you're doing fine. Take your time, have a look at this for 500 pounds. What is another name for the prong of a fork? Spine, chine, tine, brine. Final answer? You've got 500 quid. Well done. OK, have a look. Uh, you're just one question away from your first milestone. It's for a guaranteed £1,000. Here it comes. Which of these British coastal towns is also the name of a pop group? Minehead. Portishead. Peterhead. Gateshead. If this answer is correct, you're guaranteed to leave here with at least £1,000. Well done, it is the right answer! Oh, well done, you got £1,000. Now that's guaranteed, whatever happens now, you'll walk away with at least £1,000. But have a look at this next question. You might as well play it. It's worth £2,000. Which word can mean tantrum or rice field? Huff. Fury. Paddy. Tiz. Are you happy with your answer?
Congratulations, it's the right answer. You've got £2,000. <laughs> OK, now it's getting rather serious. The money starts to go up and up at this point rather fast. You've got £2,000. You're nine questions away from £1 million. This question is worth £4,000. Snoopy appears in which comic strip? Peanuts. Chestnuts. Walnuts. Coconuts. So you're saying it's A... Are you confident? You had £2,000. You just doubled it to £4,000. The next question takes you past the halfway mark for the 15 correct answers you need for £1 million. Good luck. Here it comes for £8,000. Which of these is the name of a biscuit and a royal house? Bourbon. Garibaldi. Nice. Grimaldi. Are you confident? I'd love to say you've just won £8,000, but I'm afraid you haven't. I'm so sorry, it's the wrong answer. So you're leaving us today with a cheque for £1,000. You're not leaving empty-handed. Uh, well done, please come back soon to try for hopefully lots more next time around on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Right, here we go. 15 questions, £1 million, three lifelines, 50-50, phone a friend and ask the audience. I hope you're ready for this. Here comes your first question. It's worth £100. Which of these is a region of France? Normandy. Melvindy. Kevindy. Gavindy. So you're saying it's A. Are you confident? Well done, nice and easy, you've got £100. <laughs> Have a look at this, it's worth £200. What's the name for a talk radio DJ who's deliberately provocative? Scandal Vandal, Attack Jack, Shock Jock, Annoy Boy. It's correct, you've got 200 quid. You're doing well, you're just 13 questions away from a million. Look at this for 300 pounds. Which material forms the casing put around a broken bone while it mends? Mold of Madrid, cast of Brussels, gypsum of Rome, plaster of Paris. You've got £300. Now, you've got 300 quid, but you could still go away with nothing. I'm sure you won't, and I hope you don't. But have a look at this next one. It's worth £500. Specifically, a platoon is a subdivision of a company of what? Singers. Actors. Soldiers. Lawyers. Are you happy with your answer?
Bet you've got 500 quid. Well done. Now, the next question guarantees you £1,000 if you give me a correct answer. Have a look at this. In which handicraft would you cast on and cast off? Mosaic, knitting, pottery, oil painting. If this answer is correct, you're guaranteed to leave here with at least £1,000. Well done, it is the right answer! That's £1,000 in the bag guaranteed, but let's try and double that with the next question. You might as well play this, you've got nothing to lose, you're guaranteed £1,000, this one is for £2,000. With which type of transport would you most associate the name Cunard? Aeroplanes. Trains. Ships. Cars. OK, you're going for C. Are you happy? You've just won £2,000. <laughs> OK, now it's getting rather serious. The money starts to go up and up at this point rather fast. You've got £2,000. You're nine questions away from £1 million. This question is worth £4,000. What kind of animal is Sooty's girlfriend, Sue? Armadillo. Rabbit. Panda. Otter. You've still got all three lifelines left. 50-50, phone a friend and ask the audience. Are you confident? You had £2,000. You just doubled it to £4,000. <laughs> The next question takes you past the halfway mark for the 15 correct answers you need for £1 million. Good luck. Here it comes for £8,000. Which of these words can mean a non-conformist place of worship? Tabernacle. Tabalay. Tabard. Tableau. Are you absolutely sure? Oh, I'd love to say you just won £8,000. And I can! You have just won £8,000! <laughs> OK, keep going if you want to. Here's question nine. You're doing really well. If you play and get it wrong, you'll drop £7,000. If you play and get it right, you'll double your money to £16,000. What is the surname of the family in the TV sitcom 2.4 Children? Porter. Parker. Plumber. Packer. OK, right, this is your lifeline. You've made a choice to ask the audience. Audience, if you would, please, put your fingers on your keypads. Let's try and help out. Answer A, B, C or D, please, now. Well, they seem pretty confident it's A. 
So it's up to you entirely, what do you think? Are you absolutely sure? You've just won £16,000! <laughs> So you've now got £16,000. Now this next question is worth £32,000. If you get it right, you're guaranteed to leave with at least that amount of money. But if you get it wrong, you drop 15 of the £16,000 you've got at this moment. You don't have to play this question, but it's worth £32,000 guaranteed. Take your time, here it comes. Who wrote the best-selling novel Scarlet Feather? Joanna Trollope, Maeve Binchy, Rosamund Pilcher, Penny Vincenzi. You've still got two lifelines, 50-50 and phone a friend. Okay, you want to go 50-50, use your lifeline computer, take away two wrong answers, please. Leaving the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Well, that's left you with A or B to choose from. Are you sure it's not A? You did have £16,000 in your hand. You've now got £32,000! Well done, you've now got a guaranteed cheque for £32,000, at least £32,000. Now you're now five questions away from one million. This next question is worth £64,000 and you might as well play this whatever. You can't lose the £32,000 you've already got, that's guaranteed. Have a look at it, here it comes. It's question number 11 of 15. The islands of Micronesia are in which ocean? Atlantic, Pacific, Indian, Arctic. Are you absolutely sure? You had £32,000 in your hand. Not anymore. You've now got £64,000. <laughs> Now you're getting into really serious money territory. The next question is worth £125,000 and you are just four away from a million. Take your time, you don't have to play it, but here it comes. Who was the lead vocalist in the pop group Fine Young Cannibals? Richard Windfall, Ronald Present, Robert Parcel, Roland Gift. Now take your time, you can still phone a friend if you want to.
You want to use your phone a friend lifeline? Okay. Let's get them on the line now, but you don't have to take the answer they give. Hello? Hi, Lisa. It's Chris Tarrant from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? £125,000 is the little amount riding on the answer you're about to give your friend. No pressure. Good luck. Oh, my God. Go on, then. Now, are you ready for this? Here's the question and four possible answers, one of which is the right answer. Who was the lead vocalist in the pop group Fine Young Cannibals? Richard Windfall, Ronald Present, Robert Parcel, Roland Gift. You're a winner. I know this one. It's Roland Gift. No problem. Thank you very much for your time. Well, now it's time to make your mind up. Lisa thinks it's D, but it's over to you for the final answer. You're saying D. OK. You happy to go orange? you could have walked away with £64,000. It was in your hand. But you were right not to. You've just won £125,000. Now, you don't have to play this next question. It's entirely up to you. You've got £125,000 at this moment. But if you can give me the right answer, it's worth a quarter of a million. Take your time. You've got £125,000 at this moment, but it's worth a quarter of a million. Here it comes. Which of these is a division of France? Department. Compartment. Agency. Bureau. So you think it's A? You had £125,000 in your hand. You didn't have to play that last question. You could have walked away. You did play it. You've no longer got £125,000. You've now got a quarter of a million pounds. Right, at this point, you are just two questions away from one million pounds. If you do give me a correct answer to the next question, you win £500,000. But if you give me a wrong answer, you lose £218,000. It's question number 14 of 15. Take as much time as you need. Have a good look at it. Good luck. In which field is Mark Rothko a famous name? Music. Dance. Poetry. Art. Are you confident? You've just risked an awful lot of money on one question. You had a quarter of a million pounds and you could have walked away. You've been very, very brave. Your reward is a cheque for £500,000. Half a million, well done. Well, you're doing brilliantly. Fantastic. Half a million pounds. Now, there's a cheque waiting here with your name on it for £500,000. But we don't want to give you that. 
We'd love to give you the next one, the big one. You are just one right answer away from a million pounds. Now, have a look at it. At this moment, you can leave here quite happily with £500,000. But the next question, the final question, is worth £1 million. This is it. In which year was Leonardo DiCaprio born? 1972, 1973, 1974, 1975. Just remind you again, you are putting an awful lot of money at risk if you do choose to play this question. £468,000 to be precise. You don't have to play this question. You can walk away, but it is for £1 million. I just remind you again, you are putting an awful lot of money at risk if you do choose to play this question. £468,000 to be precise. You don't have to play this question. You can walk away, but it is for £1 million. You are so close to the million. Are you sure you want to walk away? Well, I can't blame you for walking away now. Half a million quid, a big, big, big win. You've been one of the best contestants we've ever had. Congratulations, you come so close. Well done, but you still get 500,000 pounds. Thank you for playing. Who wants to be a millionaire?